Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I am playing Warsword Conquest, a mod for Mountain Blade Warband, and this is my Chaos playthrough. Now then, there is a tournament going on, we're going to enter it, because we need to earn some money, we are getting fairly low. And uh, yeah, so, the hell are these throwing axes? At least he has a weapon. He's got anything else, just his axe. Oh, he's got a crossbow. Where'd that come from? <laughs> I've got a crossbow, I've got a little axe. Can't see though to aim. Ah, oh, screw it, let's just go. Oh, you think that's gonna stop me? Okay, that those axes might. Oh, crikey. It's hard to fight when you can't see the bloody enemy because your bulk is so big. Alright, let's go. Next round. Ah, that's more like it. Oh, God. Okay. He's got a pistol. They're all ranged? Oh, crap. I've got to keep my health up as high as I can because I've got to do some serious fight in a minute. I can't see him. I couldn't see him. He was too small. No. No. But the Master of Ceremonies declares a recognition of my skill, so I am still in it. We're going to have to be very careful though this time. We've got a shield. That's good. Shield is perfect when facing smaller foes. Oh my god, that is a big axe he's got. I feel like I should take out his whole team first. Oh god. He's so big. Get those hits in, get those hits in. I've got Got him. Holy crap. Ooh, thank God I've got full armor. Thank God I haven't given him any gear. If he had gear, we would be screwed. Okay, next round. Should be an easy one. <laughs> the shield is tiny. No wonder it's not blocking. Good job. At least we'll get a bit of money for this. Wait for it. Blood for the blood god. Oh. Done. Easy. At least we made a good bit of money. Did I actually... Okay, so I do have a decent bit of cash. I'm gonna visit the tavern. Who's that? Oh, orc. Ogre. A couple of ogres. Alright. We're going to head to the arena again, find out. We're going to wait till morning, actually. We're going to find out if there are any more tournaments going to be nearby. Carrot Kandrin. Okay. Because if I can make a bit more cash, you know, I can get a bunch more mercenaries rather than just doing... 
So Carrot Cadron is over here. Now I could potentially go straight to it. I would be in friendlier territory. But I do risk running into enemies. I mean, yeah. Wait, why are the dwarves after me? Oh god. I'm going to run into more. So who have I got? Okay. If they want to fight, let's fight them. I didn't realize we're at war. Whatever's going on. Maybe it's because I just won that tournament. Okay, they're not approaching very fast, so I'm guessing they're on foot. There's only 14 of them. We can bleed them. No problem. Quite a bit ranged. Not the best place for me to go to get up to them, but hey. but I do need to get off my horse before it's killed. The rest are trying to flee. They're gone. Very well. Oh no, they're trying to get some... Oh, okay. Sneaky. Let's let them come back up so they can get a shot on me. Cheeky buggers, that's what they are. They're going to run to the edge of the map trying to get away. Their little legs are trying to carry them. They're running, they know what's coming. take these orcs, we can put them to good use, and we'll take the prisoners too. Okay, now we may end up running into some trouble, so we will have to back up. Oh, that's why I could go here, the night goblins. Fair enough, that makes sense. Let's have a look at their skills. So I want some good warriors if I can. His intelligence is already up there a little bit. Hmm. Let's just dump, dump that on him first. What about this fella? His intelligence is fairly low. So it might not be good to make him a pathfinder. See, Corvas already had the high... I'll have to find someone else to do this job. I think. Yeah. So we're kind of trapped here. I need to get back to my boat. Where is my boat? My boat is down there. My ship.
A lot of dwarves there, trying to go around them. That's fine, I'm making it to my ship. From there we need a new target. Hmm, where shall we attack? Where shall we attack? Kislev is no longer under siege. I do need soldiers, that's for sure. The orcs are going to have to do for now. Let's have a look. We can go back to the Pirate King Fortress, find out where the next siege will be. Or the next tournament, I should say. I won't be partake partaking in any sieges just yet. It's a bit too soon. But Pirate King Fortress could be taken. That seems fairly weak to me. That looks funny, just what he's wearing. Arabian Thief. Interesting. Cannon aimed at the door. Is there anyone else up here? That'd be kind of cool if I stayed here and spread chaos from this direction. Skaven merchant. Hmm. Skaven gear. Very cool looking. Ball and chain just looks brutal. Okay, I don't know where these places are, Kadrin I do, but this other one, let's have a look. Is it far? Is it one of these places? Nope. Okay, locations. Let's have a look. See if we can find it. Pirate Kingdom. Oh, it's not far. It's not far. Oh, in that case, we're definitely going to that. Because we can make some good money. I was wondering where all everyone was. Oh... You know what, that's fine, I'll fight them. They made the mistake of fighting us on land though. That works for me. That works for me. They chased us onto the beach. And on the beach is where we will make our stand. I wonder if my horse is wounded, it's very slow. I need a replacement. throwing weapons because my horse is so slow he's getting hit with a lot of them
Okay, oh, more prisoners. Although I can't take them all. Some of these are worth a little bit. I'm just going to take what I can. Well, I'm going to take a little bit, not going to take too much. But we can sell just a little bit. Oh, I do need to go back though. Yeah, I need more trainers in my army. We've got to get that experience spread as quickly as we can. Undead pirates are on the on land. See, we could land and go for them. Get that experience, or more importantly, I could get the experience. Four troops against their twenty. Well. Truth be told, it doesn't matter. Not for Cool Tyrant. We're just gonna wade in there and we're gonna destroy them. Breaking bones. Ah, the captain was knocked unconscious. Good. Order a few captains. Now they turn and flee. Hunt down the rest. Freaking cow. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. Still though. I wonder what weapon I can get for him. Get him something monstrous like a massive axe. There is that bear creature I want to hire that lurks the chaos lands. Definitely something I want to do. That will be next I think. Just we need to get a few more tournament wins because it costs like 9,000 to hire, which is a huge chunk. There we go. There we go. We are victorious. Privateer. Let's, we're going to take whoever we can at this point, just for the moment. And we can always uh, get rid of them later if we don't want. Oggy Boggy leveled up, always good, always good. And even these creatures are pretty strong, uh, pretty smart. Okay, let's have a look. Oggy, he leveled. Let's have a look at your skills, mate. One more point before we can get his stuff up. He's also, he's not my trainer though, is he? He should become a trainer because, yeah. I mean, as much as I wanted to get his, like, strength stuff up. Let's do that, because then that means experience is going to go to everyone. And overall, it's just going to help me. We'll probably end up giving him, like, a, a shield, just so he survives longer, so one-handed would be better. Maybe make him ranged, but he is an orc. Anyway, let's get back to my ship. I think he's the only trainer I've properly got, and you know, if the experience gets shared between all my troops and Og is always with me, then that is definitely going to be useful. Definitely going to be useful. Anyway, we have arrived. The tournament is going to be held here. We'll take a quick look in the tavern, see what's happening. More mercenaries. Leopard Company. Interesting people to take, you know. Oh, Mafia's Fuelman. Witch Hunter. So, not exactly the person I want with me on this character, this playthrough, but you may remember Mafia's, uh, 
Yulman, the character I play as in Anno Domini. Katya. Hmm. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Be sure to join me again next time. Until then.